Hi everyone, this is Ram Krishna. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss episode 2020 abstract algebra question number 27 from paper 2. And the question is if capital A is equal to set consisting of the elements A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Here we have capital A consisting of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 number of elements. Then the number of permutations F on capital A such that f of x equal to x holds for exactly four elements of capital A is dash and the four options are option number A 35, option number B 70, option number C 140, option number D 210. So we have to choose one correct options from these four and here the question is about uh, combinations and uh, rearrangements. So first we have to recall those two definitions and this is a standard question every year we are getting one question from this uh, topic in previous years also we got uh, same type of question so here first we recall uh, combinations and uh, derangements uh, definitions so here we have uh, first definition combinations the number of combinations that means selections of n different things taken r at a time is denoted by ncr so here the number of combinations of n different things taken r at a time that means from n number of things n number of different things we are taking r things at a time and it is denoted by ncr and its value is given by ncr is equal to n factorial by r factorial into n minus r factorial so this is standard formula and next one we have derangements that means if n things are arranged in a row then number of ways in which they can be deranged so that none of them occupies its original place is denoted by dn and is given by the formula n factorial into 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on plus minus 1 whole power n into 1 by n factorial if we have n things arranged in a row and then the number of ways in which they can be deranged that means if we interchange those n number of things in different ways then no thing can be replaced in its original place okay then it is denoted by dn and is given by the formula n factorial into 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial plus so on plus minus 1 whole power n into 1 by n factorial now coming to the problem here given that given that the cardinality of a that means the number of elements in capital a are seven number of elements that is a b c d e f and uh, g okay and given property that means permutation f of x is equal to x holds exactly for four elements so out of seven elements four elements are fixed okay that means out of seven elements we are taking four elements at a time that means that is 7c4 okay now remaining three elements that means we are taking four elements so remaining remaining three elements are deranged hence we have uh, d3 that means d3 means n factorial means 3 factorial into 1 by 2 factorial minus 1 by 3 factorial so which is nothing but 3 factorial means 6 into 1 by 2 factorial means 1 by 2 minus 1 by 3 factorial means 1 by 6 so on simplification we get this is uh, 6 into and here the also means 6 and this is 3 minus 1 so on simplification we get this is equals to 2 okay therefore the number of 
permutations number of permutations f on capital a such that f of x is equal to x holds for exactly exactly four elements of capital a four elements of capital a is given by 7c4 into d3 which is equal to 7c4 means 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 by 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 into d3 means here values 2 so on simplification we get this value is equal to your 4 4 will be gets cancelled 6 6 will be gets cancelled so it remains with uh, 2 into 5 10 into 7 means 70 so we have uh, the number of permutations f on capital a such that f of x is equal to x holds for exactly four elements of capital a is 70 that means our option number b is correct therefore option b is correct okay is it clear so therefore option number b is the correct answer i hope uh, you like this video if you like the video please share subscribe thanks for watching